Hello guys and welcome back to the 3D model channel. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between a bump map and a displacement map. It's something uh, that when I was just starting to model and to render, uh, it was something I always struggled with. So let's start right away. Let's just open the V-Ray toolbar. Let's open the V-Ray asset editor and uh, let's make just a test render here in the lower right half of the screen. Let's create a material. Let's call it red. We're going to use a texture image. And we're going to create the same material but with a different color using another texture image this one here called blue and we're going to name them blue and red and now we're going to just apply the materials this is these are just two faces they are not grouped or part of a component they're just free geometry and we're going to do a test render on this first blue material and now we're going to go into the V-Ray Asset Editor and we're going to add a bump map. Click in here, choosing bitmap, finding it on your computer and that's it. Both bump map and displacement map work in the same way. The black part of the image is going to be lowered and the light or white part of the image is going to be pushed up. Now we're going to do the test render and you can see there is a shadow here where before there was not. A bump map makes the material appear 3D by using this pixels to create an illusion of how the light would interact with your material. So it doesn't change the geometry. The displacement map does exactly that. It creates additional geometry. So now let's add a displacement map for the red material. As you can see, by default, uh, it doesn't have a displacement layer. So we're gonna add it by clicking on this button and then adding displacement, enabling it and uh, choosing a bitmap. And we're gonna choose the same map that we used for the bump just for the sake of showing the difference. And now let's do the test render. As you can see, nothing happened. And that's because, and this is a common mistake for beginners in V-Ray for SketchUp, for a material with a displacement map to work as it should, it needs to be in a group or component. Not only that, but the displacement material needs to be applied to the component. In this case, as you can see, our plane has the material applied but the component itself it doesn't so this is a little bit tricky but you need to remember that we just apply the same material to the component or to the group in our case and that is it now the displacement map has made this effect here you can change the amount Now let's add a different displacement map because this one is just black and white. We're going to add a grayscale and uh, where white becomes black gradually. Let's test it. Now let's try to, to see what the displacement map can do for a real world material. For example, let's choose this stone brick wall. In this case, we are not talking about a plane as in the past two examples, but here we have a block in three dimensions. Now let's add the displacement map and test render 
and you can see the difference that this made in the geometry. But you can also see an error where these planes that are perpendicular to one another are just leaving a gap. To repair this behavior, you need to check this box in front of keep continuity. And this, as you can see, has solved our problem. Now let's just, for the sake of it, remove our diffuse map. Now it's just a gray diffuse map with only the displacement map. We're going to do the test render and you can see that the geometry has stayed exactly the same, but it has changed in scale. That's another thing to remember. Because uh, there is an engine that analyzes your diffuse map and then it matches it perfectly with the bump or displacement map. But in the case when you do not have a diffuse map and you only have a displacement map, then you need to go into the settings of the texture map of the displacement right here and you need to change the repeat UV. You can lock it so the aspect ratio remains the same. And so you can see that uh, we actually scaled our displacement map. Just remember, you do it right here. So this is probably all I had to say about bump and displacement. I was actually talking a lot more about the displacement than the bump map since bump is uh, fairly simple. So I hope I helped you in understanding it more and uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video please consider subscribing to my channel. I put out videos every Tuesday and Friday and I will talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.